Hello and welcome everyone to part 43 of the Saxon Let's Play with Taylor War until we continue where we left things off our last time. End turn phase. Corruption is skyrocketing. Uh, skyrocketing. I didn't realise it was going to cut this much but obviously because I have no military allies which I will try and rectify but no one seems that agreeable to me. I've been probably most successful in my, ex in my expansion with my Saxon Let's Play but that's kind of... And I've not really got myself into too many wars. I've been able to manage them quite well. But I haven't really built up any allies. Which is obviously wrecking my economy as I move on forward. So I think someone suggested um, that it's fair game to use the, the corruption reduction mod at around, say, like 65% onwards. Um, and I'll certainly be considering that now if it's crippling me this hard. But, but we'll see. I mean, my economy is just dropping every bloody turn. Um, promotion. Do nothing. Yeah, do nothing. I want him promoted. What's this? Um. Rumours have spread as you requested. However, the trail leads back to your agent instead of the target. How you wish to deal with this error? Um. Now I assume that's 15 influence. Who gains the out of favor trait? I assume this one does. I've put. I've got three uh, Guruses. I've got all the Guruses, um, Guruses, to go after each other. Um, I'm trying to get rid of bad Guris. But this, this is but a misunderstanding. Let it be known that the rumors are false. I would love to do that, but it's because this character doesn't have enough. Uh, we're going to forget it, actually, for now. Just take the hit to our control. So, we need to sort that back out again now, because we don't lose too much of that. Um, he's now High Judge, which is good. We've still got Gears here. We're trying to get rid of him. Someone suggested that a good way of getting rid of him was to, in fact, use... Excuse me! Ooh. Ooh. Just call that one. Excuse me. Um, was to use uh, an agent or, or a character to spread rumours. Uh, that didn't work. So, I mean, I could risk my... I don't want to risk my hiking killing him. I'm going to sneeze again. <laughs> Christ! I'm going to have the windows open. It's bloody hot. Um, Emma, you could try and assassinate him. Just, just go for the assassination. Risk the assassination, buddy. Risky assassination, but it's got to be done. Um, daughter here. Got her, who... I was actually thinking it'd be kind of cool to marry her to him. His brother's wife. Get that whole thing going on there. But um, he can actually seek a wife. But I'm going to see if any of my... Any nearby factors are Huns we can I marry. I for good wine to ease your throat. And ripe women also. Oh, really? My, my Esla needs a, a wife? Moderate chance. So moderate chance. If I offer some money, I'll probably get it. Why is, why is Esla need... Does his wife die? Oh, oh, yeah, she did. Yeah, gonna. Okay, let's marry. Let's marry Esla, though. For the Huns. To the Huns. Just offer them some money. They should take it. Because we wanted that. We drink. wanted to kind of increase relationships with them. Lips. Moderate chance of actually marrying her to Attila. That's not bad. Let's do that as well. I'm willing to pay. Oh, high chance. Damn. Okay, let's try, try 500. It's nice. And then I'm going to arrange a marriage, please, for her. Although, which one's better? And this is to my heir. I'm, down, I'm unlikely to get any more kids from here. So if I want to get... But to be fair, there's loads of... Um, other ladies. Available for my future sons. But let's go for the faithful one. Because we'll leave this younger one for my faction heir. Okay, she, they want a little bit more for her. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. No, not her. Uh, that one. That's fair. I'm going to offer you 500 again. 
Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Fine, we're being a bit cheeky. Okay, I get it, I get it. Go for 800. There we go. Now I can arrange marriage with Godric. Let's just marry all of them over. Why not? Let's get them all some wives early on. We're just going to get super friendly with the Huns. It's improving like crazy. Let's do it. Why not? Why not? Let's just intermingle our families utterly and completely. Uh, and Godric's kind of the, the rogue sheep of it all. Let's marry him to the younger one though because he's quite young himself. Seems like 800 is the sweet spot for the dowry these days. To wolf hair, there we go. Finally, down to the guy I wanted to get married. Sweet. Um, we just married the younger one off, but he's... How old is he? He's 19. She's still fine. She's quiet, but she's fine. There we go. Everyone is... Ma we're just heavily married into the Huns now. And I'm not asking for anything else because I'm just hoping that we'll improve stupid amounts with them so that then we can... I don't know, we've not got them as allies. We can't get them as allies. Moderate. Non-aggression pact. Gold is a for money. Yeah, for sure. Let's go for it. Non-aggression. We can't make them allies, which does suck, to be fair. Um, but we've, we've, we've married heavily into the, <laughs> into the Huns. That's cool. That's a shame we can't get allies with them. Because that will work really well. The Lord blesses us with your presence today. I will doubtless find pleasure in your wisdom here. Then I'm going to take a military lance and it's like, no, not even a fire for everything. A d defensive one. Damn. Do we even have non aggression pact? It would probably. <laughs> hmm. Got all that money and they're only just considering it. Wow. You guys are dicks. Well, um, so yeah, that's happened. We've got loads of marriages. <laughs> Everyone's got married. We've got non-aggression with the Huns, though. And now we'll go to my family tree. We've been married to Attila. We <laughs> She's married to Attila. Look at that. Boom. Have I just, like, won the game now? Pretty sure I've won the game. Um, yeah, look at that. Nice. Have fun, Attila. Um, you guys can find your own wives. <laughs> Where is Wolfair though? Because he's got himself a Hunnic wife. Yep. She's got a fair bit of influence, which is good. Nice. Cool, we did, we did good. And, and Godric as well. Where's Godric? Godric! Oh, he's over here. Okay. Got himself a wife as well. And... Esther's got a new wife. <laughs> Younger wife. Never know, might see more kids on the way. Right. Um, so we're dealing with our enemies, but as I, as I said, we are facing like 48% corruption in most of my provinces right now. That's ridiculous. There should at least be like technologies or ways to deal with it more effectively, surely. I know that it's simulating the hard times, but it's like, wow. Damn. Uh, we will push on until... It gets uh, absolutely crazy in terms of the amount we're trying to deal with. Uh, someone did suggest I get rid of this fleet up here and repopulate this area, you know, later on with another army just because it's, it's going to be costing me a lot of money for all this um, that I could really use probably elsewhere right now that I'm not in any naval conflict. So let's just disband the whole thing. That gives a boost to the economy, which is nice. Um, so I'll repopulate those gems later. Because we're still we're still looking to go to Rome, we're still looking to hit these guys here. The Gepids have decided to leave. So Neapolis, I mean, it would be open if we left. The garrison's building up though. I could actually upgrade this as well, the town. But first, we need to check all of our other regions that nowhere else needs. First of all, conversion or like rebuilding. Yeah, all of these do. Because we've just taken the province. Um, what's this? This is a cavalry stables. Okay. Uh, we're looking for money, ways of earning money, like bone crafters and what have you. Um, ah, uh, what's our resource here? Olive trees, so we'll go for that. And let me just check resources. Oh, 
Oh, no, it's olive trees, isn't it? It's different. Uh, olives, there we go. This gives a bonus to commercial buildings. We want to build commercial stuff. Um, so what out of the artisans gives commercial? Um... Because that's that's the only way I'm going to be able to beat the corruption. Well, not beat the corruption because corruption will just eventually increase no matter what buildings I put in here. But the only way I can give myself a boost at the moment to my income is to look at which of these um, gives commerce. These are both industry. That's industry. Everything is industry, okay. That's the we might as well, we need might as well build that resource, it makes sense too. So everything is industry. I think I'm probably gonna go for the bone crafter, because that's an immediate one thousand two hundred boost um from industry. So sanitation like sanitation is gonna dive. Um What's our religion like? Yeah, non-existent. Um, garrison quarters turns into a chieftain's hold. Wealth of culture. So these olive trees aren't ultimately going to help with commercial buildings because we don't really have much here. Uh, nothing commercial. Um, what can we get from commercial? Civic? No, um... <clears throat> Settlement, town, uh, subsistence fields. Ooh, agriculture, isn't it? It's nothing. Where is the commerce stuff? That's cultural. It's all industry. I guess it's ports, isn't it, that does the commerce? Yeah, they're the ones from commerce. So really, this doesn't actually help us out. Although Carthago Nova, that will have like if we went for a trade port from that, then that'd be pretty darn useful. That would help. Um, so yeah, that's what we need that for. So otherwise, we're gonna go. We're gonna convert, we're gonna go straight for the industry. We're gonna make this a pretty strong province straight away. Um, We'll convert that over for the public order. It's going to hit a food. We're getting food from there. And then we do need sanitation. So when that gets destroyed, we'll build a sanitation building there. We'll repair this for now. And sort that out next turn. So we're getting ready to go for the Alamans. Um, attacking them will bring in, we hope, um, Hispania and the Langobards. Oh, the Bastanians over here, they don't like they don't like the fact that I've got diplomatic marriage with the Huns. I've probably upset people with that, haven't I? But you know what? Don't care. Don't care. Deal with it. Western Roman Empire as well. Deal with it. Um, I think I'm just, actually with this, I'm just going to have to go all out on my own. Um, you know, I can't even get him in jellies, but it's, it's okay. The um, thing is, when we do get to... Um, we've already got these uh, Luferdum held by our tribute state. So when we take out... Um, the Langobards at Aregelia, and um, yeah, we've already got these um, Uberazuzis, if I can't say it. Then we will have, for our victory objectives, Germania. We've done all the looting, we've got all the units, we just need all the various buildings, a few more military technologies, and just take out a few more factions, we'll get the military victory. The what state my economy will be at by then, not a clue. Not a ruddy clue. Um, <laughs> you'll go for the harassing. We'll go for a press as well. Uh, my spy's on its way as well to come over so that we can reduce the corruption. Send him this way. Oh, there we go. Because in my capital, I got forty-three. <laughs> Need more spies. No, I can't get any more. Oh, and um, someone was saying that you apparently can only in Italy can only manipulate new agents over if you've got a spare slot, um, to to get more. 
like in Rome 2, you could actually have way more than you could actually recruit. Is that still the case? Does anyone know if that's still the case now? Because um, I'd love to know. Uh, trap or sabotage walls. Sabotage walls is so useful. What would you have of me? Um, what you got? Corruption. And ruin stores. Yeah, I'll go for that. <clears throat> How may I like if we could keep, if we could keep corruption around about these levels, about forty percent, that'd be fine. But it's like I get the I get the corruption model. I understand it because your empire gets larger. You know, you start getting corruption things like that. But surely you'd never have completely cold. 100% corrupt empires. I know some people could argue that at the end the Roman Empire was pretty corrupt and and what have you, but still. Um, I think that's in one of those cases where, if anything, CA have maybe gone and put a feature in maybe a bit more realistic than others, but it's kind of almost game-breaking a little bit. But I don't know, because I haven't got to the end game, so I don't know how hard it is, but I, I keep hearing stories from all of you guys saying how tough it is end game. Um, with all the corruption, so, you know, I, I haven't really seen too many of you really be completely against using the mod. I think it's, I think, to be fair, using the corruption mod, either I need to use it from the start, so that, um, that would have impacted how the campaign had developed, uh, or I need to wait until the right time where it, where my economy really is, like, chugging and struggling from all that corruption. I can't just, I don't feel right just throwing it in now, even for, like, a few turns, just because... It will start a steamroll effect, which um, will keep on, keep on going. Construction cost wealth. Well, hmm. yeah, we'll go for that. Um, you'll go for that. Um. So yeah. All right, working on building up buildings. Um, here. We're not using Gothic Scanter as my. We uh, <laughs> that in my Danes. Let's play to rebuild my economy. So we're, we're kind of doing that in Iberia, but we'll we'll keep going and see how it goes. My economy's a bit strong because I've just got rid of that fleet. We were a bit stronger economy-wise in this anyway, but uh, we're about to probably upset that a lot. I'm also super excited right now because I'm going to go see Jurassic World tonight. Um, ooh, peace treaty. Us that we should offer you gold. We do not argue with spirits. Argue with spirits. You did kill my sons, but I will quite happily take your money. Oh, you got some good wives. The young ones. Give me your woman. Do we have peace? Then no. Then die. <laughs> Give me your women, or die. But yes, I'm going to go see Jurassic World tonight. Now, to be fair, I don't expect it to be amazing. Um, I think the first teaser trailer that they showed was the best one because you didn't actually see too much. And the more we've seen, the kind of more I've been like, oh, yeah, it's probably not actually going to be that great. Um, to be fair, I'll still enjoy it because there's, there's nothing quite like that first Jurassic Park film. When you first go into the park. I think the kind of the, the start of the movie is going to be the best part. Um, but... I'm looking forward to be hopefully pleasantly surprised, but I'm going in kind of not expecting anything too special. I'll just enjoy it. I like Chris Pratt as an actor, uh, and then I'm going for a Nando's. Now I personally don't get this whole cheeky Nando's thing, but um, I, I, I from what I, a suspicious death was successful, and the man of death was not quite subtle enough to, but asking questions, powerful alibi, impossible. They were away on royal business at the time. <laughs> I just totally do it. Because that hits the influence of my faction leader and not AMA because he can't do that. Um, yes, we'll do a powerful alibi. Um, but yeah, I don't get this whole Nan cheeky Nando's thing. But from what I understand, from what the cool kids say, it is when there's more than two of you going for a meal. And I think there's four or five of us going for a, for a Nando's tonight. So I am indeed going for a cheeky Nando's. Cool. I might, in, if you follow me on Instagram, which you can probably find in the description, I will uh, probably tweet my food if you're into watching or looking at pictures of other people's food. Um, powerful alibi we're going for. Political assassination, Bad Gearis is dead. 
Long live the king. Long live the king. Oh, this guy is not happy. Why are you not happy? More influential than ruler. Ah, oh, dude, 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 dude. We can totally sort that out. Um, we probably need to sort that out, or we need to marry him to the family. She needs 30 influence for that. We could use her to diminish his popularity. That costs a lot. Or we could just secure his loyalty. Oh. Ow. Whoa, whoa, look at you! 247 influence! Oh my god. Didn't even realise that. Oh, well, you, young thang, are going to be fine. Um, well, we should probably secure his loyalty, then diminish his popularity. Damn, you are now going to be doing all my actions for me. Damn, you hunnic women. You're fine. With lots of influence. Nice. Oh, they're spreading the bloody plague. The Rungians. Ah, or is it, or is it spread to them? Maybe I've spread it to them. In which case, sorry not sorry? I do also need to sort out my food shortages, if I've got any. Because otherwise that is a bit weird. Where is it? Oh, unseasonal could it? No. Where is the message about the... Ah, oh, there we go. Spread to oh, it spread to them. We could, shouldn't have come to my disease-ridden province, should you? And it's actually where we're building up those oh, with goat barns. Cool. Good to know. All of elders, we can upgrade that. Oh, we've got a fair bit of money coming in. Every time I take a new region, it obviously adds to my existing corruption throughout the empire because the size of it has expanded. So maybe, maybe actually tributaries would be a good idea right now if I want to stabilize my economy <laughs> a little bit. Not be the worst thing in the world. Where's that one? They got they got a reasonable garrison here. These are tier twos. Cool. Um, you guys are a stronger, well, more complete force. So we'll probably send you after the Alamans. Ready for order. I assume these guys can hold on. It's part of the same region, right? Um, where is sanitation? Sanitation! Uh, although public order right now, because we'll go for sanitation from here. Uh, Chieftains hold, you're getting that. Can't convert either of those just yet, but we will. But you guys will be fine. Oh, they're, they're besieging me. Really? You think that's a good Fire idea? I'm going to sell you out. Oh, come on, come back. Destroy them! Oh, guys, I really wanted to, wanted to have a battle, but um, it's just in your face. In your face. Oh, oh what? You still alive? How? How are you still alive? Oh, here, here we go. Oh, what? Oh, you, you thought about it, you cheeky monkeys. Die. Come back here, y'all. i got to kill your faces. Um... Do 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 do. Um, we got vineyards here, the grape press, culture, agriculture. We need to build up any bonus from agriculture. We get fifth. No, oh, do we not get a uh, wood carver? We really do not need the. We need you. I'm just going full on money right now. Bone carver. Screw the public order penalty. We go for another bone carb if we want to, or construction cost wealth from industry. Uh, commercial buildings, we can make a. Uh, stack up the bone carvers, why not? I know they hurt the squalor and public order and stuff, but we've got various bits in place, we just need to upgrade the troughs. I'm trying to push for money with my existing empire, I just need to build up a cash reserve or something like that so I can yes. take whatever I need to later on. These guys are building up, and we need to put more, more heroic cab in. Ah, uh, in which case, I'm sorry, but Bone Carver does not come before I finish off my heroic cab. Freaking heroic cab. That's going to take three turns. Life. But then we've got a full old army. The Night's Watch is ready to go with... Oh, I can't wait to use them. Be my best army. 
Um, so, we're, I mean, we're looking to go to war. <laughs> we're going to go to war with the Bastanians, the Langobards, obviously, and the Markomans, and expand out there, which is, that's when the corruption's going to get solid. Look at that happiness with the Huns. Happy Huns. Let us have good wine until we can talk no more. Sure. Let's talk no more. They are my only green friends. Aww. And the other guys can't trade with me, which sucks. And I've got to trade with these guys, even though they hate me. Um, someone was suggesting that I send a fleet all the way over here and just... I should have done it at the start of the game, but build up a little fleet and send it off on its merry way to um, discover some lands and get some trade partners. I'm, I'm quite keen. I'm quite up for that. If i got military port somewhere, I do. Ethelbald, you're a good chap and you're a fleet commander, so yeah, we'll reinstate the drowned men. Septimani is dead now. Um, probably need a few ships because I don't. Well, I'm not at war with anyone over there, am I? Although the Quid Quidrians. I guess we should give him a small defensive force, but we don't. What's the cheapest one? We'll just go for the archers we then. Need more ships. Four is more than enough, and then we'll sail off next turn. With these guys, we are going to swoop on down here, but Neapolis is going to hate me if I move out. So I can't really afford to do that just yet. I want to take Rome so bad, though. I want to take Rome. I'll bring in the Markomans. But we're getting ready to set up to hit the Alamans, to be honest, and upset them. I think we've got nothing else to do but end the Oh, no, skill for my me? scout. Do, do, do. going on. Gepids, are you going to come for me? No, you're just pulling your forces back. You hold southern Italy. Ah, I got a nice ice cold beverage. Because when I started recording this morning, it was bloody um, bloody hot outside. It's actually gone a bit cooler, which is annoying because I've just put a wash on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Huns, have you just... Oh, Huns. I forgot to like, you'd like to bloody ra raise things. Uh, and you've just raised the province of the Thuringians. Success. Ruined my stores. What? Loyalty secured. Good. Yeah, they've just they've just raised this settlement, which is what I freaking well need for Germania as my victory. So I'm gonna have to repop. Cheers, cheers, Huns. Ah. Uh. To restate seeds. Has declared independence. Yeah, the Thuringians have now declared themselves independent because they're a freaking horde. Procrastinator. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Tolls and customs. Good. So you still out my food. But it's winter, so it's kind of be expected. Raiding. Yes. Yeah, oh, stop it. Stop raiding me. Land for loyalty. I, yeah, it's going to be all my money's home, but you know what, I'm just going to get that research over and done with, because there's a lot of other things that come from that that I could, pr could pretty, or could, I could do with. Um, but that's, uh, that's going to be, the rest of it's going to be left for next time, guys. Um, although, I'm getting ready to hit the Alamans, let's just keep going with how the corruption stands. How... Huns are super happy, bless them. Thuringians, I know they pretty much hate me anyway. Where are the Thuringians? Down here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll, I think, as I said, I will probably turn the corruption mod, which, like, cuts it in half. So it's still there. I'm not getting rid of corruption, because, God, it's a, it's a useful um, tool in there. You know, it keeps you in check. But I'll use the reduction mod probably when I get to around about 60 65%. 
um, if you guys are happy, largely, you know, majority happy with that. So we're getting, we can go strike these guys this turn, go on in for the kill. The uh, the Night's Watch just finish up the last few cavalry units, and that's a strong, powerful army we can throw up against our enemies. Because we're still, we're still expanding army-wise. Um, this fleet can go and all the way over here, meet some friends. So we've got to have a few men in it, because these guys could come and get us. Oh, look, they've got another navy there. As a general, though, so... This this might be a folly, uh, folly expedition, but we'll see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed, guys, and uh, if you're going to watch Jurassic World over the weekend, um, I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride and join the Legion. All links are in the description, as well as multiple ways for you to connect with me. While you're there, why not have a look at the link for Green Man Gaming. They have a huge catalogue of games, both new and old, regular deals that are refreshed all the time, and you can save 20% by using my code. If gaming laptops are your thing, why not have a look at XMG. They have a large range of customizable machines, and you can save £30 off a purchase of a gaming laptop by using my affiliate link and code, also found in the description. So, until next time guys, ciao for now.